Hi guys, um, it is Monday, January 9th. I just realized I haven't started this vlog off. So, welcome to Reads Readers with your host, Clinton Reed. Britain and another vlog. This one is going to be my secret TBR vlog. Well, secret project vlog. And I have finished one of them. Let me grab the other. That way we can go over what I'm going to be reading this week. Now for a physical read, I haven't quite decided that yet. But today I have finished one book. <clears throat> I have finished Top Secret by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. This follows Keaton, whose girlfriend would like to have a threesome with another man. And so he gets on this kink app and underneath the screen name, Lobster Shorts, where he meets Sinner 3 and they start to talk. And then, lo and behold, when it's down to it, it's his frat brother. And the person who's going up against him for, um chapter president and all that good jazz the man he doesn't like or does he because he starts to um secretly like the idea of man on man oh i i really loved this i used coal pile which i don't know if you if you don't know what coal pile is i will link no, I probably won't link, but uh, Book Roast has this thing called Copile, where you rate based off of characters, atmosphere, writing, plot, intrigue, logic, and emotions, where you do 1 through 10, and then you average them out, you add that up and then average it out, which gave it a 9.42, which 9 to 10 gives this a lovely a 5 stars. Really enjoyed it. Um, it reminded me a lot of the romance in the Foxhole Court, but more adult and less violent. Because Andrew reminds me a lot of Luke in a lot of different ways. But, so I would highly recommend that to people who love that sort of thing. So, that is the first in these little Project TBRs. I'm going to try to read four books, and by the end I'm going to rank them, and then the next one that's a project will rank those into these rankings, which, when it's all said and done, you'll understand. But the other three I have to read this week is Rule Breaker by Lily Morton, which is a Mixed Messages book one. Tagline is, is it really wrong to want to murder your boss? Or will you fall in love with them? Um, I've got Someday, Someday by Emma Scott. How long would you wait for love? And I've been really wanting to read this because this is Nikki's all-time favorite Mel Mel romance. And I want to know why. And I also have... A Fury of Bones and Gold, Soulbound 1 by Haley Turner, which this has been pitched to me as um, Shadowhunters, but gay. So I'm excited. And the tagline on this one is, when the gods come calling, you don't get to say no. <laughs> so those will be the other three that I will be reading this week. But I just wanted to get on here and let you know that I have finished a book. I will be starting a physical read. But personally, I don't know when that's going to happen. Because Sterling and I have started a new show. We are watching um, Why Women Kill. And we are loving it. It is everything. So, I have multiple... Oh, the other one that I may finish this week... 
because the fact that I work five full days, I may try to squeeze in Deadbeat Druid by David R. Slayton so I can finish a series and start the year off finishing two series. Seeing as I will have started one, two, seeing as I'll have started three series, these two plus Savage Lands. Crave doesn't really count as starting a series, it's a reread, so, but if I could finish this this week, but this will not get ranked with these four. These four are part of a project. These will be ranked separately, but I may try to squeeze this in to try to finish off a series. So this is my TBR for this week. A lot of Mel Mel romance, and I'm here for that. I made you an ebook because there's an ebook that I want to read because fifth book in that series will be in a future project video, too. But that's all I've got for you guys right now. I'm gonna sign off, and I've gotta go watch some Why Women Kill. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, today is Tuesday the the tenth. My days are blending. Yes, I'm in the same area as I was yesterday's because for some reason I kind of like how this looks right now. I don't know why. Just go with me. But today, I have finished another book for the secret T, for this, uh, TBR. Oh, hold on. I need this so we can rank as we go. So today, I finished A Fury of Bones and Gold by Haley Turner. This made me think Crescent City meets Dresden Files meets Mercy Thompson, but make it gay. Loved it. This follows Patrick Collins, who is a special operations agency worker who has like a, he's a mage who has kind of a deal with gods kind of being controlled by some Greek gods and some Norse fates. This is a world with vampires, werewolves, mages, gods, immortals. There's a lot in this. Well, he was saved by his... He was saved by Persephone when he was eight years old. So now he owes, owes his life to them until he can hunt down his father and kill him. Pretty much. And there's a sexy werewolf. Jono. Jonathan. What's his full name? Jonathan Devev. Because but Jono. And Jono and Patrick are freaking amazing. That's all you really need to know going into this. Um, I am planning on continuing this series, and I will probably do an entire series breakdown when I finish the series, so yes. But I gave this six out of five stars, so in the ranking systems, as of right now, those are how they're being ranked. So tomorrow... I haven't decided if I want to do Sunday, Sunday, or if I want to do Rule Breaker next. I'll decide later. Um, it's 370, 273. I might do Sunday, Sunday tomorrow, and then Rule Breaker Thursday. Who knows? All I know is Deadbeat will be on Thursday. Which also, fans of 
this series would really love this series. Also, fans of Wolf Song will really love this series as well. So, but I also got some stuff in the mail. Like I've showed you guys this bookmark. I got some more bookmarks in. And then I got a book in. Where is the, thank you. I got the last of my bookmarks and stickers that I ordered in. Oh, if I can get everything out. So the sticker I got says, Mel Mel Reader is going to send on one of the Mel Mel Romance shows. I don't. And I got a bookmark that says Mel's Love Mel's for Mel Mel and another Mel Mel Romance. I'm going to be using... I got these three, or these two from, what is the place called, Danish Craft Queen, and I got this one from Books Make Me Brainy. I wanted some bookmarks for my Mel Mel Romance projects and some stickers to, like, decorate. And then I got an exciting package. I can get to this this month, I will. I got, oh, it's a little bent. I got Psycho by Only Chance. Do you see how bent that is? Holy crap. This is book two to Unhinged, book two in the Necessary Evils series. If I can get to this one this month, I will. If not, I will carry this on to February because I would like to read one book a month in this series and complete the series and maybe one other of her series before November. So I will probably be reading at least one of these and one of these a month along with the Crave books and maybe... Savage Lands just depends on where we're at with that, but yay. Just wanted to show off this pretty green book. Oh, I love these covers. These guys are hot. And this one follows um, August, which is the genius son, has the high IQ. And. Lucas, who ends up getting a psychic ability, and when they run into each other, he knows everything about their family. I'm excited for this one. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Oh. Excited. But that's all I've got for you guys in this clip. I will catch you guys to my row with Another update on probably one of these. I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards Rule Breaker because I'm kind of scared. Scared on this one because it's Nikki's fave fave. So that's what makes me scared. But I'm loving all of these indie published books that I am totally rocking this year. It's going to be the year of self pub Mel. Mel romance. Don't know what the hell that was, but I will catch y'all later. Hi guys, it's Wednesday the 11th, I think. I might have finished a book. I was a little tired, so I'm gonna do this wrap up a little fast. But I have finished Rule Breaker by Lily Morton. 
I'm actually going to give this a five star. No, I'm gonna give it a four. I really loved this. This follows Dylan, who has worked for Gabe for two years until things happen. I'm really gonna say this is one that you should go in blind. I absolutely loved it. Super cute and adorable, and I'm so glad I read it and cannot wait to read book two next month. <coughs> so in our ranking so far, we have at top next, then I would put like that, and I'm kind of loving this ranking, which I've got three out of four red. Explainer. Tomorrow I will be reading Nikki's favorite. I'm a little scared, guys. But I am excited. So on to the last one that's on the project that'll get ranked. On Friday, I will knock out Deadbeat Druid. Should really read Rewind this week, but I've been too tired. But yeah, that is all I've got for you guys. I'm gonna this. That's all I've got for you guys. Um, yeah, I guess I will check in with you guys when I have something else to say. Bye. Hi guys, it's Thursday, July, July, January 3rd, 12th, 12th, um, and I finished another book. I finished Someday, Someday by Emma Scott. Oh, this got six out of five stars. It is my favorite book of the year. I cried harder with it than I have with Song of Achilles. And it reminded me of the crying I did for um, some of the Green Creek books. So, make that as what you will. If it wasn't for this project... And for Nikki, I would never have picked this up. This is probably one of my all-time favorite novels. I'm gonna sit down like that. I don't care about angles. Sorry, guys. I suck at this. <laughs> I really suck at this. Whatever. But this book follows um, Max Kaufman and Silas March, Marsh, who both go through a lot of hard things things. Um, at the beginning of the book, you find out that Max has been kicked out for being gay. He's high on drugs. He is convinced to do... to sell his body. And you flash forward to seven years later, where he is now a nurse who is hired by the, by the Marsh family to take care of the CEO of this company, who has MS. Well, before that happens, he is at a, um, Drug Addicts Anonymous, an AA meeting for drug addicts, where he sees the hot Unabomber dude in the background. Hoodie up, glasses, sexy ass, oh who later turns out to be Silas Marsh, the CEO's son, who has gone through a lot in his life as well, from conversion therapy to internalized homophobia. There's a lot in this novel. There's a lot packed in it. 
It is one of the best written books I have ever read. It is phenomenal. It is probably one of my all-time favorite Mel Mel romances now. It's definitely in my top ten. Um, Silas also has a brother named Eddie who is has Asperger's. Who throughout this book is treated like crap by his father just like Silas. Um... But Eddie is one of the sweetest characters ever, just... Anything ever happens to Eddie, I will riot. Me and Emma Scott will have conversations. Did see at the back that there is a book before this, Forever Right Now, with Darlene and Sawyer, who are side characters in this. I might find the audiobook for that because I loved Darlene as a character. She's a side character, one of Max's best friends. Oh, this book just... Listen, this is the first time I could actually talk about it on camera because I've been crying off and on all day because of this. And my life has been destroyed because of this. It's also the last book I am reading for my secret TBR in this video. I will be reading um, a Deadbeat Druid tomorrow, but it won't get ranked. So let us do a final ranking. For the four books in this, do you believe this is how I would rank them so far? We have Someday, Someday, followed by A Fury of Bones and Gold, which I now have the audiobooks for that whole series. Oh. Then Top Secret, and then Rule Breaker. I think the Secret Project, Mel Mel Romance Project, is going super well. I need to find a way to um, rank, which I also wanted to talk to you guys. Would you guys like me to just rank the Momo romances with the projects, with the secret project at the end of the year give you, because there's going to be 36 books in that? Or would you like me to also rank every Mel Mel relationship book I read this year and rank them in with it and give you guys... The best of the year. I think that could get exciting. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. But yeah, I am going to read Dead Bit Beat Druid tomorrow. And I love the fact that I've already got three of the books. That I will be reading for February. <laughs> um, February is a secret TBR, which book two to Rule Breaker will be the the third, and I will have three audiobooks and one that does not have an audio, but. Nah. Oh, well, I'm just glad I got that as an audio, so there's that. But that's all I've got for you guys in today's clip. Um, I know I still have tomorrow and this weekend, so we'll see what I can get read. I at least want to get Deadbeat Druid read. I've started the solo mode B group book, Green Witchcraft, a Practicals Guide to something. I'm going to try to read at least like a chapter every now and then. Live show for that's not until the 4th. So um, I at least want to finish this. I might try to read Rewind this weekend. Or I might pick up the Romance Zone. I haven't fully decided. I may pick up a Phoenix 
first must burn, burn this weekend and read a few story, short stories from this and see how I feel. Um, I know next week I'm going to do books that I have to read, which is going to be Forevermore, which is the last one that I pulled out of The Cauldron. The Family Upstairs, which is my buddy read with, um, Nikki and Tracy and Sterling. Also, my TBR knockout for just words on the cover. I need to do Secret Life of Albert Intolwin, which is for buzzword, life or death, and grave for the grave along. So I'm excited. That'll be a uh, next week's TBR at least. But I don't have anything else I need to talk to you guys about. Um, oh, I might pick up Psycho by Only James. Oh, my own the audio. I was able to find the audiobook for that. So I might pick that up. But that is all I've got for you guys in this clip. I will catch up with you later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Friday the 13th. Um, I know weird, weird angles. To be honest, I'll get better at vlogging, okay? I haven't done this except for maybe like a few vlogs before starting this year, so. Um, but yes, I wanted to mention to you guys that I finished Deadbeat Druid by David R. Slayton. This is the third and final book in the Adam Binder trilogy that's out so far. We don't know if we're getting more in, of Adam Binder, but I know we're getting a spinoff series set in this world, so. It would be really interesting to see who we'd be following in that one. <clears throat> but, in a sense, this series follows Adam Binder, who is a warlock from Oklahoma, who ends up having to save his sister-in-law because of a ghost. And then he also meets a cop, falls in love, Adam and Vic are, like, amazing together, and in this one, they travel to hell. If you want a queer paranormal series with elves, which is ghosts, gods, death, life, druids, listen, this has got a lot of things in it, and I highly, 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 highly recommend. Y'all know I am really bad at giving synopsises. I'm just so happy that I have a signed copy of this. Oh, just loved this so much. So five out of five stars. So, so far this week I have finished five books. Um, Y'all remember the rankings to the other four. I don't know what else I'm going to read this weekend. We'll just see what I pick up. Um, I've got at least two more days. We'll see. Um, I may finish something I may not. Who knows? Um, but the fact that I have completed two series this month and started two s series that I plan on completing. <laughs> but I have completed two out of those seven series this month, the Adam Binder and the murder between us, Noel and Cole. Noah and Cole. So I finished the Noah and Cole, and I have finished um, Adam Binder. So yay, that is two out of seven down. And it's only January. Can you believe it? I have read ten things this month, and I don't think I've given anything less than a four star. And I've given two six stars. Quite a bit of fives. I think they have two four stars. 
won two, three, four, five stars so far, and two six stars. Oh my god, I am so excited. Been a really good month so far. I apologize again for angles. I will get better at this stuff. And I'll get better at not having to always vlog in the library. Just Sterling's watching TV and then I don't want to disturb him. And he doesn't want to be on camera just yet. Because he's not in the best mental place. So there's that. I just realized he fixed the queer shelves. There's no books sitting on top. None of those go over there, do they? Did be Druid, Will. But that's about it. Oh, and Trailer Park Trickster. And Torresto. But that's all I've got for you guys. If I read something else, I will come back in and let you know. Don't know if I'll actually finish anything else tonight. I'm currently cooking dinner. Um. So then I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow on if I decide to read something or not. It's kind of in the mood for another graphic novel of sorts. Or something small, because I want to finish something. But you know what I should do is read the group book for CPC. One of the group books. Choices, choices. I don't know where to choose. I'll talk with you guys later. Hi guys, um, today is Sunday, January 15th, <clears throat> I thought I'd finally end this vlog, um, let us go back over everything we, I've read this week, which I did complete five things and started a sixth, which I will get, which I'll, dare we complete had these five things. I know Thursday I completed Deadbeat Druid, which ended that series. Oh my god, five out of five stars. And then I did my secret TBR, which is ranked as so. The Rule Breaker giving a 4 or 4.5. Top Secret getting a 5. A Fury of Bones and Golden Someday both getting... Someday, Someday both getting... Six stars. Cannot wait to continue this series. Favorite book of the year so far. And what I am currently reading is I started Midnighter. Just the complete collection and I am like a couple of volumes in. Um, this is a gay superhero in the DC Universe. This is basically gay Batman with a chip in his head. And he's just trying to find love. So there's that. I will be continuing to read this throughout the week. I'm going to try to get a huge chunk of it finished tonight. I'm excited. I wanted a DC kind of thing. And I was like, I've been dying to read it. So I was like, I want a graphic novel of sorts. Um, but also, we took and sold a bunch of books that we unhauled off of our shelves. Yeah, I didn't film an unhaul. And unfortunately, Sterling's been having kind of a bad time. So I suggested we go ahead and just take them and get them taken care of. And that way we get to get out and about made $62 off of selling what we sold, so Sterling got three um, records. Um, don't necessarily remember what he got. I want to say one's a Kylie Minogue, one's an Abba, and one's a Patrick Kelly. I don't know, nor do I care. I know he got an Elizabeth Peters book he needed, and I got two books, so I wanted to share them with you guys. I got two spooky thriller kind of books. 
first one I got is My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cunningham. This one just sounded super cute. <clears throat> when all towns have their ghosts, rainwater is very special. The island had a habit of keeping things long after they were gone. And when Finch Chamberlain stepped foot into Rainwater, Maine, it decided to keep her. That just sounded super creepy, super, like, up my alley. Did not realize that it was YA, though. Because I bought this in the adult section. But I'm still excited. And I also found out it's queer. And then I bought a book that... Um... Nikki is sending me another copy of this already. It's in the box that she's already got packed away to send me a box of books. Did not realize it was one of those, but I've been wanting to read a Darcy Coates and to find this one for cheap. I didn't know where to start, where to begin. And I knew she was sending me a book that had haunting in the title. Just did not realize it was this one. But I got The Haunting of Ashburn House. Um, there's something wrong with Ashburn House. Ashburn's dead are not at rest. I want to know nothing about this. All I know is it's a spooky house horror novel. And I've been really wanting to read Darcy Coates. I know she has a whole list of things. She has The Haunting of Blackwood House, The Haunting of Rockwood House, The Haunting of Gilsip House. I'm really hoping I like The Haunting of Ashburn House because I might start with all the ones with like haunting in the title because I've been wanting to dip my toes more into horror like spooky creepy haunted house kind of things so I'm excited so I was like both of these just sounded super creepy and super up my alley so why not and to find out this one's queer even better but that is all I've got for you guys for this week. Um, I hope you guys like this video. In the future, I'm hoping to make my TBR, my, my secret TBRs a little bit better. better. Hopefully, I need to figure out a way to keep track of how I'm ranking things. But yeah. Um, and this next week, I will be reading, obviously, more of Midnighter, if I don't finish that today. I do have four that I would like to get taken care of next week. Forevermore, a gay fairy tale. I was able to get the audiobook for this. So I would like to tackle this and get this taken care of, because this is the last one I need to read for my Toil and TBR. Um, I would like to also read Lisa Jules' The Family Upstairs, which is my um, buddy read with Nikki and Tracy and Sterling. So I would like to at least try a Lisa Jewel. From what I've heard, I may not like this. So I'm kind of scared. I would like to get, um, also using that for TBR Knockout for a book with words on the cover. Um, I would also like to get The Secret Life of Albert Entulweisel by Matt Kane read, which this is going to be my buzzword book for life. And because the audiobook leaves soon, I need to do my reread of Crave for my, um, Crave Along. And if I have time, I'm going to try to do Rewind. Um, I may start A Phoenix Burst Must Burn, and I'm going to give it a couple of short stories, but if I'm not into this, I'm not into this, I'll DNF it. Um, if I could squeeze in another audio book, I would like to squeeze in Psycho, but I don't know if I can squeeze in Psycho this week. But if I can, awesome, if not, it's going to be the following week. This will get read this month. I want to read one only, ja only James book a month until this series is over and I 
probably the one that I have the graphic novel for, though. Just don't like the fact that it's like bent. Good job. I have time, I might read The Bromance Zone for a mostly white cover. Because to me, the background is mostly white. We shall see. Those are the reading plans for this upcoming week, is at least to get these four taken care of, plus Midnighter. But that's all I've got for you guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, and if you're new, hit that subscribe. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time, kids, Always remember to be fabulously yourself. Uh, bye!